In this video, we'll have a quick look at comments in Dart. Basically, a comment in any programming language is something that gets ignored by the compiler. So normally we could use comments to maybe explain something, maybe uh, just indicate a new section of coding or something like that. Or maybe if you just want to set a, a simple note for yourself in your coding somewhere. It is something that the compiler will never read. So even if you type a lot of garbage there and you run your application, it will still work because the compiler is not looking at anything after the specific number of forward slashes. So in this case, it won't look at uh, this garbage that I typed there and it will still run. Right, so let's look at the different comments that we get. So the first comment that we're going to have a look at is the single line comment. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. So a single line comment is basically just two forward slashes and then whatever you want to type as your comment. That's a single line comment. Then you also get a multi-line comment. So a multi-line comment means that if I want to have more than one line of comments, how do I do that? So you just put a forward slash and a star, go down a bit and end it off with a forward slash again. And that's a multi-line comment. So this is a comment in more than one line. So that will be a multi-line comment. So if you've got a very big piece of explanation or whatever you want to do, um, you can do it in a multi-line comment. And from there, up until there, the compiler will not read, which means that you can type what you want there. It won't affect your code at all. But it could maybe improve some understanding of your coding or what and why you did a specific thing in coding. Then the next one is to do comments. So to do comments will basically be two forward slashes and then you need to have the all capital letters to do there at the top. And you can see what it does is it gives you this reminder at the bottom of something that you still need to do. So let's say um, insert some coding here later on. You want to do some math equation or whatever you want to do it there. So you remember of it now and you type the to do there so you don't forget about it and it will keep on reminding you on the right hand side bottom to say this is a to do insert some coding here. And you see for the other comments that did not pop up for us. Right and then the last one is the documentation comment. So the documentation comment normally works above a method. For example above this method we can add three forward slashes and then we can start explaining this main method. So I can say this is the starting point of any Dart application. Now where can we see that in action? If you click on the main method there, you can now see as part of the main method it says there this is the starting point of any Dart application. If I remove that line, and I click on main again, you will see it just says, says uh, main.dart. So the documentation comments helps us in this section at the bottom where we can have a look at the documentation of a specific method. So when do we use comments? Just a quick overview. Single line comment, a multi-line comment. If you want to insert it a, a to-do somewhere inside of your application and also for documentation. So for most part, you will use comments not to explain a part of your coding because your coding should do that on its own. You should have uh, descriptive variable names and your coding should be clear so that anybody reading your code actually knows what's going on. But if for some reason you feel that you cannot explain any, f any more about your coding by just uh, simply coding it, then you can add a comment to maybe add some brief explanation about it. Also, maybe you can explain why you did something a certain way. And then also remember for your for your methods, it's very important to give a, a brief overview of your method so that somebody else using your method can actually understand what the method does by just clicking on your method name. That's it for this video and comments. See you in the next one.